Hi, this is Buzz Cantor and I'm talking about motorcycles. This one is a 1929 Harley-Davidson 2Cam JDH. And that's the motor, that's what identifies it as a JDH, but here you go. How do you tell it's a 29? Well, here's a couple of clues. One is you see the two headlights, the bullet headlights. Those are only offered in 1929 and 1930. And this is unusual in that the, ra the rack that holds them on, the, the, um, the stand, has never broken. Uh, quite often, they would crack right in there and have to get re-welded. These have never been broken, which is kind of rare, and they are genuine Harley-Davidson bullet headlights. Uh, Claxton horn, right between there, and this is a toolbox on the other side. But uh, 29 and 30 headlights, dual headlights only. Uh, and the... Uh, pipe of pan, pipe of pan, yes, is the exhaust. There's two mufflers on this side, and there's two mufflers on the other side. So it's four mufflers. You see the little one on top? And the concept behind that was they thought they could move more volume quietly. Uh, but I guess it didn't work very well because they discontinued them shortly after that. So two cam Harley, the fabled two cam. Uh, the street ones, they only made them in 28 and 29. They were the hot rod motorcycles that Harley came out with. And they were the end of the JD series, of the J series. Uh, J is one overhead valve and one side valve per cylinder. So here you can see the, the rocker. So that's one overhead. And then this is the push rod here. And then the spring for the side valve. So uh, otherwise known as an F head, not to be confused with the J motor. So the two cams have these, this kidney shape here, and that gives it away. Uh, normally they're more oval shape, and the two cam have that. And also the whole push rod assembly. You see it's a block up above, well, actually it's two blocks, one for each side. Uh, this block here and this block here were separate and then bolted on. Um, on the standard J series or JD series, uh, they didn't do that, they just machined it right into the cases. Uh, floorboards, key starter, Oil pump, you can see where you can adjust it there, more or less. Battery box, and they tell you to uh, fill every week with distilled water only, never use acid. So two cam Harleys. So the J's came out earlier, um, and uh, solid bikes, and then they detuned the FH, I believe it was, with the two cam race motors and put them in 2829 Harley. Okay, it has a drum brake on the front, came out in 27, excuse me, 28, so the 28 and 29 had front brakes, the uh, Springer front end, rigid frame, uh, the seat is, is mounted on a suspension, so you can bounce it up and down a little bit, if you can see that or not, there, that's your suspension, is this post here goes down the frame and in, the springs there, uh, this is the speedometer drive. So the large ring gear on the hub goes around. This one here goes around, spins this one, runs up the cable here up to the speedometer. So this one has only had one mile or one tenth of a mile put on. I guess it's a yeah one tenth of a mile put on, and it was up to almost 20 miles an hour in that tenth. It must have been down the steep hill. Uh, the interesting thing about this fenders, you see, there's a hinge here. Right here's a hinge, a little chip of paint. And what would happen is you could disconnect the bolt here and one on the other side. The whole fender lifts up and out of the way. So on the rear stand, you can change your flat tire, uh, pull the wheel right off without having to deal with any of the other issues. Um, this is, by the way, this, is, this bike was restored uh, by Bill Eggers back in about 1990 or, nine, I think it was 1990. Uh, the motor and transmission were done by Mike Smith, who's since gone. Uh, Mike was uh, an amazing mechanic and rebuilder. So it's all freshly redone and just never, never been run much. Uh, this is before reproduction stuff, so everything you see is correct. An original, original taillight. Even got a, a 1929 Connecticut license plate for it. So Harley-Davidson Model 2 made in USA, all original stuff. The uh, pipe of pan, the battery box, air cleaner, so you could adjust it for closed or open to increase the amount of airflow through it. The air comes in the air. This basically keeps out uh, birds and uh, I guess the large insects from the carburetor. 
uh, hand shift, foot clutch, toe to go, foot clutch. This is the side stand is down right now. We don't really need that. So since it's on the rear stand, this is the oil line here. Uh, it's an external oil. So we get up on the top here. If you look, this is the oiler. So basically, it has the oil pump on one side. Why does it need a manual oiler? Well, glad you asked. Basically, it, the oil pump is set at a certain level when the motor is running. It doesn't know if it's going fast or slow. So it's sort of, you set it in an average um, setting. And then if you're going to go very, very long speed, long distances at high speeds or in the heat, you would pull the oil pump up and down. And one stroke is one ounce. And so what you're doing is you're pulling it out of the oil tank, which is here on the left. Uh, gas on the right on the left back and gas on the right so the split tanks so you you pull this out and one one stroke is one ounce so that comes down through here out of the bottom of the oil tank down around and through and into the sump so you're overriding the pump to add more oil you don't want to run it too rich because you'll foul out your part spark plugs so that's it um, the shifter is a foot clutch, so it's time to go. So to shift, you would kick down on the clutch, reach up from neutral and put it into low, which is up first, or back to second, or high gear is third. And then this, the clutch drops back forward. Uh, front brakes, so it's still a relatively new concept. This is only the second year, but you see the bracket on the back leg. It's wrapped and welded on the back leg of the forks to hold the brakes and stay them in place. Uh, up in the front, toolbox again, lights and horn. And that's it. That's sort of a, a quick... Oh, uh, up on the top, the ignition. Uh, so we have... You put a key in here. This It'll spin freely without the key. Uh, so this is the ignition. These are the lights. So you can set it at park or on or off for the lights. Factory ammeter and a little light here. There's a, a small bulb in there and it lights it up at night. You can see where you're going. So that's it. Um, I do hope you enjoy my videos. Um, I have fun sharing them and sharing history with you all. Again, this is Buzz Cantor, and I do invite you to subscribe. Press that little red subscription button or subscribe button on the lower right corner. It's free, it's easy, and uh, if you subscribe, you'll be notified the next video comes out. Thanks a lot, and uh, keep looking in those barns. You never know what you're going to find out there. A lot of barn finds still to be had.